It's a judgment day. That's what the Lord is telling us. If you listen to your first and second lesson, it's a judgment day. Some all our leaders have came to us, the preachers, the Bible scholars, they translate, they bring the understanding to us to know the law of God and keep them. They've told us all this in various ways. So it's like sometimes we're repeating the whole thing again and again, and we're still swimming in a sin, even from the top, from the oldest to the, to the, to the lowest. We're all swimming in his sins, and we're asking for blessings of God. I'm not here to dice and tell you there will be glory, glory, when there's going to be punishment. God sent Jeremiah, those prophets of old, sent him to the Israelites that the day of judgment are coming. You should repent and go to the old ways. What's the old ways? Those are when God sent the law through our father, our great great, great, great fathers, and they kept this law. They know him. They saw his wonders work. They saw how merciful God is. They kept these works. God is asking Jeremiah, talk to the Israelites. Go back to these commandments so I can have mercy upon you. But they have a very rocky heart. No one wants to listen to the word of God. No one wants to keep the commandment of God. And they keep asking for blessings from Almighty God. Everybody is on his own pocket. It's like a doggy doggy world. That's what it is in the Christian life. Look at all our leaders. All Christianity life all over. Is it. Look at them on the, on, the, on the social media. They keep lying to children of God because of their pockets. They keep throwing the stones of division among us. So we profit them in this way and we they deny some other truthful one on the other way. It's the same thing over and over. So they talk to us, the Lord have given us all these words. These scriptures has been given to us. It's left for you and me to make that 180 degrees change and come to the Lord. And cry. Not just come. You cry to the Lord from your heart heavily for repentance and changes. You ask God to accept you. To give you that spirit. To keep that law and his commandment. Can somebody just read for me from one of our hymns? In five five three, please. The choir, if you have it. When I look at this word of God's first and second, hold on, man. first and second lessons. I said to the Lord, How am I going to be doing this? Dicing and lying to the children of God. And the Spirit of the Lord said to me, Go, it's my judgment. Go to that in five five three and see how you're going to do it. Go ahead. The supreme judge of the world is near. Yes. Jesus Christ, the yes. Lord is coming soon. He's coming. His arrival may be day or night. Yes. Mm. Where will you harbor your transgressions? Yes. Celestial church, yes. rejoice and be glad. Yes. For the great day of judgment coming. For the good ones. Many are called, but few are chosen. Yes. Hallelujah mm. on that day. Yes. 
celestial church, here comes judgment day. Mm, Witches, yes. wizards are now to be judged. Witches and wizards, they are here. Don't let them lie to you that they are not here. They are among us as we sat here. <laughs> Spiritual theft, they are among us. God already descended a blessing to this parish. There's many today, they are after spiritual theft. Continue and let them hear the judgment of God. Continue. Adulterers and fornicators, yes. where will you harbor your mm. transgressions? Yes. God bless you. Amen. Children of God, it's about changes. Change to the Lord. Why don't you be on the line and ask for your own time and ask Almighty God to bless you and ask Almighty God to keep, to, to keep you right, to give you a good spirit. They are among us. It may be you, it may be me. We have to ask for the change. It's a 180 degrees change. Look around you. Look at what, I'm not going into the scripture yet. Look around you, look what is going on around you in Christian life. Christianity, the man that came around, that said, no. The man that said, well, he look out there, it's a sunny day, and he said, look at it, it's heavy snow. <laughs> and everybody said, oh yes, it's heavy snow and cold. And this man is who the Christian life said is a savior. Look around you, in your own church. Look at what Satan is doing. He throws a stone of division. And everybody started talking blasphemy. Our leaders, their pockets from the top, from number one to the last of this part of this church. The good work that was sent to the founder of this church, and we sat down and destroyed it. Where there is all this. Uh, what they call it, where they have all these people sat together to destroy the power, of, uh, to destroy the progress of God, that's where you will see all of them. It's all over the media. Everybody, as Bible says, or Shiwiri. Everybody still talks, talk, keep talking blasphemy on the media. They're not facing the right thing that is facing the church. The church is not moving forward. It's a blessed church of Almighty God. Very blessed church of Almighty God. I know for the few years I believe, oh my Lord, thank you, Lord. For the few years that I'm in this church, I know and I, I, my, my parents are Anglican. From Anglican to CAC. And God said, No, you are needing Celestia. For that few, I knew. I know the power of God. All these people know, all our leaders know. Some of them we said that, oh, when they gave up our Baba Shop and the Mantu, they were there. But they are the leader of the coup cool planner today. It's all in the scripture. Change. That's what the Lord is telling us. Let's look for the first scripture. First lesson of today. Start from verse 10. I speak. Yes. And give warning. Yes. That they may hear. Yes. Behold, their ear is uncircumcised. Their ear is uncircumcised. And they cannot hearken. Yes. Behold, yes. the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. Yes. They have no delight in it. The word of God is to them reproach. It's nothing. They have no, what, what, what they want to do with it? After all, they already mixed seven candles and seven coconuts. That's all. All this commandment and all this law is nothing. That's, that's, our, that's our church. And the other ones, other parishes, they have their own flaws too. They deceiving the children of God. They kept the law of God on the side and doing what is profitable to them. All of them printing books. You see, this, 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 this big enough, I can never even, I've been reading it, I never get understanding in it. God is the one that has been directing me in this scripture. How much more spending your money to be printed in that scripture? You copy the same thing and, and printing it to the people. Those are the other parishes, the other other other, other, other churches. 
too many, too many scripture uh, pamphlets. They keep lying to the children of God and keep stealing their heart away from the law that God sent to us. Continue, ma'am. Therefore, yes. I am full of fury of the Lord. Yes. I am weary with holding in. Yes. I will pour it out upon the children abroad. Yes. And upon the assembly of young men together. Yes. For even the husband with the wife then shall be taken. The taken. The aged with him that is full of days. Yes. And their houses shall be turned unto others. Yes. With their fields and wives together. Yes. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land. Yes. Said the Lord. That will never be our portion. Along Masoko to Casino Lewa. But <clears throat> for that not to happen, we must come to the Lord. We must change to the Lord. If everybody wants a good blessing prayer, but they don't want to face reality, reality that the law of God come first. Said if we if we love him. If we love him, Christ said, we will keep his commandments. We will do his will. Continue, ma'am. For from the least of them, yes. even unto the greatest of them, yes. everyone is given to covetousness. From the least to the greatest one of them, they are all just doing their own world, whatever has come to them. They are not anybody they want. They do anything they want. Who can question me? But God, the time is here. The time of judgment, not just for the world. He said it's going to start from the Christian, Christian home, from the churches. The time is here. He took all our leaders. Up to me, up to me that people that, everybody that come on this pulpit and talk to me, he's going to be the first one that says, well, what about you, Mr. Speaker? <laughs> The judgment of God is near. It's not going nowhere. It's coming. And we're going to see those who are those who are alive. We see it. I said, ah, they're getting older and older and older among us. The older they are, the dubious they are. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Let no man Benny. Knowing that we can receive a stricter judgment. Yes. For we all stumble in many things. Benny. If anyone does not stumble in the word, Benny. he is a perfect man. Benny. Able also to, to breed on and hold. Benny. To breed on the whole God bless you. body. Indeed, yes. we put beat in horses' mouths. Benny. James chapter 3. God bless you, sir. The perfect man is Almighty God. We all come here and say, we all have our flaws. We all have, I'm that, I'm speaking to you, I have my flaws. It's almighty God that we judge. We have to strive for perfection. He search your heart. He see your struggling. He know you are flesh and weak. So how will you be saying, I'm weak, I'm weak, my Lord, and keep stealing every day? <laughs> He knows when you are about to stop, when you try to stop. So, any teacher, any prophet, anybody that come and tell you this, he will be the first to ask, what about you, Mr. or Mrs., prophet or prophetess? Tell us, where did you stand? Continue on. And from the prophet, <laughs> yes. even unto the priest, yes. everyone dealeth falsely. Everybody deal falsely from the prophet or the priest. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people yes. slightly, yes. saying, yes. peace, peace, when there is no They're peace. They're saying, peace, peace, there's no peace. Hold on. What? When there's trouble, it's when the prophet and prophetess will come and tell you, oh, hallelujah, I've seen you blessings. I've seen you blessings. Instead of them to, to, to tell you that, no, hallelujah, I see you that you're a drug dealer. <laughs> Instead of them to say, hallelujah, I see you that you're a 411, a 911. 4911. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm seeing that you're a 419. You see? Instead of them to tell you that, 
Because that's what many of us do. They go to Nigeria, they do this, they do that. Oh, Nisha Kobo, oh, they have no job in, in, in the country. And they live in big. And when they finish, they go and buy a big cross, big bell, and everything. Buy a very beautiful thing. But you want to call him here? It's a blessing of God. It's not a blessing, it's a cause. I thank God for the leadership of this main parish. I could have left a long time ago. And I came. Lord said, No, this is your parish. You need to be straightened out. You need to hear the truth and walk and follow the truth. The same leadership is one that straightened up USA that in this house, this, this, this leadership of this parish. But the son of perdition, they say no. Yes. They don't want to change. Yes. The judgment is coming. Yes. Mm, continue now. Were they ashamed when they had com committed abomination? Yes. Nay. No. They were not at all ashamed. Benny. Neither could they blush. They're not ashamed. We don't, we are not ashamed no more. Look at the man. Look at the man living a negative life, a billionaire, a leader. He was, he was a leader of the country. He's not ashamed. He's doing it with with the pride. He's living a negative life with a pride, and we have Christian world following him. We have millions, half of the country almost, following him. We've turned negative to positive. We all now, almost all of us, living in a negative life and calling it a positive life. When the preachers and everybody leaders come, they say, this is a dog. Instead of telling you that this is a monkey. And you look at the dog and say, oh yes, it's monkey. <laughs> Children of God, from me to our leaders, to the baby, to the mother and children, we need a change. 180 degrees immediately. Continue. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. They will fall. Right. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Yes. Thus mm. saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways. Yes. And see. Yes. And ask for the old paths. Yes. Where is the good way? And walk therein. Walk and, in the old path. Ask for it. And ye shall find rest for your souls. You, we will find rest for our soul. Amen. But they said, we will not walk therein. Yes. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, Yes. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Yes. But they said, yes. we will not hearken. Yes. Therefore, hear, ye yes. nations, yes. and know, O congregation, Very. what is among them. Yes. Hear, O earth. Yes. Behold, I will bring evil upon this people. You hear what God, you, they, we get Almighty God angry. The whole world got Almighty God angry. He's sending us, he's sending us a warning that here, what I'm going to do to all of you. And it's happening gradually. As a human being, flesh is weak. We have pity on our co human being. But the, the, the devastation of God already started. I read, but as I was reading this, hold on, mommy. I saw a word. I said, oh, collateral damage. Collateral damage. And I said in my mind, ah, am I just keeping collateral damage? Only what else I have to do with this? And now I read it. See, the military, we all know the military of the government. When they're fighting with another government or another country, they look at the location they are targeting to destroy. They sat in a, in a meeting and determined the collateral damage that is involved, the percentage. And somebody will give another that go ahead, get the green light. That's a five percent dollar. We will move around and go and be in the company of collateral damage. That is what is happening in this diocese right now. 
So God is one that know we have two people, two groups. It's used to be one lovely family group. But they will descend among us and divide the diocese. And we have some group now, and we have another group. God know which one is right. And you and myself know which one is right. God minister to us. We won't be the part of collateral damage. Amen. Because when judgment comes, Almighty God will give the green light. And the angel of God will start the destruction. Amen. You that will move, you that will move with them and associate with them. You are part of collateral damage. <laughs> Continue now. Even, mm. even the fruit of their thoughts, yes. because they have not hearkened unto my words, yes. nor to my law, they but re rejected it. They reject the word of God. They reject the progress. They reject everything that Almighty God brings to us. It's in the scripture. We keep doing everything we're doing is just rubbish. Continue, man. To what purpose cometh there to me incense yes. from Shiva? What purpose? And the sweet came from a far country. What purpose? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. Not acceptable. Nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. God bless you, man. What purpose? That's what I just said. What purpose? When we go and buy all this, oh, I just order from that from Israel. I have to use it for this for the offering for the Lord. I just bought that from Nigeria. I just I just bought that from Europe, from London. This this and this and that. After we already went to go and store the money. After we already get the money two for one now. We go and buy. We want a peace with God. We think it's a stupid man. Only <laughs> born uh also -uh. He wants us to listen to him. He wants us to, he, he doesn't want our offering. Uh, he wants us to keep his word and, and be the child of God that he, that he meant us to be. What did he do? What did he do to uh, Abel and Cain? Can somebody open the book of Genesis? Genesis chapter 4, verse 2. Again. Yes. And she and she again bare his brother Abel. Very. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Yes. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Yes. And in process yes. of time it came to pass yes. that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground yes. an offering unto the Lord. Yes. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock yes. and of the fat thereof. Yes. And the Lord had respect unto Abel. He had respect unto Abel's sacrifice. And to his offering. Unto the offering. But unto Cain yes. and to his offering yes. he had no respect. He had no respect for his offering. Go ahead. And Cain was very wroth. He was wroth. And his countenance fell. Yes. And the Lord said unto Cain, Yes. Why art thou wroth? Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? Yes. If thou doest well, if we do well, shall thou not be accepted? Would we be accepted? And if thou doest not well, if we do well. If we, and thou doest not well, yes. sin lieth at the door. Yes. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. God bless you. If we do well, won't we be accepted? If we don't do well, sin in the name of God won't lie at our door. Amen. So when we go and steal and bring a big joy um, to our peace with the Lord, that's offering. It's a rejected offering. I'm telling you right now. People may sit and lie to you that, oh, it's beautiful, blah, 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 blah. All the prayer is just a waste, a waste of time, a waste of energy, a waste of money. Do it right. Mm. Follow the will of God and keep the law. That's what he asks from you and me. Second lesson. Then began he to upbraid the cities. He's so annoyed. His, 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 his heart was dismayed. That's Christ, our Savior. That I was among these people. They saw what I did. 
They see the work that I for my performance, my miracle. See, they see walking in sin. Their heart fell away from me. Continue. Wherein most of his mighty works were done, yes. because they repented not. They repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida. Benny. For if the mighty works which were done in you yes. had been done in Tyre and Sidon, yes. they would have repented long ago. They will repent in sackcloth and ashes. Yes. But I say unto you, yes. it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon yes. at the day of judgment yes. than for them. Yes. And thou, Capernaum, yes. which art exalted mm. unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. Bernie. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee yes. have been done and set up it would have remained until this day. Old Roma, if this mighty work had been done in this country that Christ said, the repentance could have been in their heart. We saw the mighty work of God. We see it. If you don't see it of the old days you read about it as a believer, and it come to you yourself, how do we pray it? On common favor. It's a miracle of Almighty God. He perform on common favor in your life and my life. Amen. And you say you don't see the miracle of God. And still, we're still running after 419. We're still running after looting each other. Spiritual theft. We're still lying for ourselves. Leaders are still lying because of their pocket, throwing a stone of division because of their pocket. They're not telling you the truth. And we continue talking blasphemy. Christ was, his heart was rotting. What did God say to us? What God said to us in the book of when Noah when Noah was, 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 Noah was asked to build an ark, the Lord came to us in the book of Genesis, chapter 6. Start from verse 5. The God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth. So great, right. That every imagination of his thoughts yes. of his heart was only evil continually. Every imagination is evil continually. Continually. Mm, continually. They continue imagine evil. That let's put the let, let's take the diocese and divide it into 25 portions. That's how they, they think. Evil thought. Evil imagination. Let's take the parish and throw that shepherd away. He's not going to lead us. You know what? Cease donating your tithe to the Lord. They, know, they, they forget that they're holding up their own progress. They say, don't, don't, don't pay the tithe. I was in a parish. They cease their tithe for Baba. Okay. It's seven years I used in starting a line. Ah, it's like I'm the only one paying tithe. <laughs> Baba, okay, we come and tell me that. Thank you, all about that. <laughs> These people have a very hard and wicked, wicked heart. The, I was among them. I live among you. I'm part of you. We are all together. The sins for Baba, okay, they never pay the time. In Moburuku, it's in their heart. The leaders, they say, well, we don't pay, how will it, how will it eat? God did not leave Baba leave Okay, though. No. People started coming and he's doing work for them. When in during the day, people giving them, God is giving them salvation through Baba okay. And those one come from giving them a personal offering. Oh, another start. The leaders. They say now he started using the house of Lord for 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 conjuring and <laughs> For conjuring and doing work and getting money for people. This one we say, oh, when I came in, I saw all this coconut, I saw all this. <laughs> they don't want it to eat. 
People have a very wicked heart. That's the same way. Go ahead. And God saw mm. that the wickedness of man was He saw the wickedness the of man, yes. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil, continually. Evil, yes. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. Then he, mm. And it grieved him at his heart. He grieved God. We, uh, God would ne we, we never grieve God in the name of Christ. Yeah. Mm. The spirit to keep the law of God, Almighty God will empower us with all spirit. Yeah. He will continue working with us with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Continue, sir. And the Lord said, Yes. I will destroy man whom I have created. Yes. From the face of the earth. Yes. Both man and beast. Yes. And the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. Yes. For it repented me that I have made them. Yes. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Thank you, Thank you, sir. But we found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. We all know the story. Amen. We all know the end of the destruction of God. Children of God. As I said, I won't take much of your time. This is straightforward. It's a judgment day. God is telling us He's coming. And He's going to judge everybody according to His words. Amen. I'm going to leave you with this. Second Corinthians, from chapter 5, start verse 10 only. We must all appear before the judgment of God. That everyone may receive the things done in his body. And receive what we did. According to that he has done. Yes. Whether it be good or bad. Either good or bad. Knowing therefore. Yes. The terror of the Lord. God be with you, man. Amen. That's all I need. Me, you, everybody of us. To the first man of this celestial church, to the last man, we are going to stand in front of the judgment of Almighty God. Amen. And we will receive that what did you do at that time? There's a tumor in my church. What did you do at that time when your parishes is doing this? What did you do at that time when your neighbor knock at your door? We will receive our judgment from Almighty God. Amen. We pray and I pray in the name of Christ to put us in a good path. Amen. May God bless His holy word. Amen. Mm.